APC Slams Arash TV's Rufai Useni for smear campaign against Senator Okwe Bolo and demands integrity and respect. APC the demand for integrity and respect from who? <laughs> you know the detail, please. APC Slams Arash Television Rufai Useni for smear campaign against Senator Okwe Bolo demands integrity and respect. The APC New Media Directorate has issued a strong condemnation of recent statements and actions by Rice TV anchor Rafai Hosseini. The Directorate criticized the station's portrayal of Senator Monday or Pueblo, specifically targeting a misleading infographic that is inaccurately depicted the candidate as running from an interview. This move, the All Progressive Congress New Media Directorate urges, represents a deliberate attempt to tarnish Senator Pueblo's reputation and reflects a biased agenda aimed at undermining his campaign. According to the APC New Media Directorate, Senator Opai Bolo is under no obligation to participate in an interview with a platform that has already shown hostility. They argue that Rafael Hussein's claim of politicizing the interview is a diversion from the real issue, Hussein's apparent lack of impartiality and professional ethics. The director points out that Hussein's approach has been consistently confrontational, raising concerns that the proposed interview was, a set up as a, was set up as a trap rather than a genuine opportunity for discussion. In response to Hussein's and Rice TV's action, the APC New Media Directorate suggested that if the station genuinely wishes to engage Senator Okwebolo, they should consider extending a substantial offer such as $1 million dollars while acknowledging that the integrity of their candidate is not for sale. They contend that such an offer might reflect a level of seriousness that has been lacking in previous interaction. The APC New Media Director is calls on Rafai Hosseini to reconsider his professional ethics and cease effort to manipulate public perception for personal or political gain. They advise the public to be cautious of media outlets that prioritize senses Sensation, sensationalism over factual reporting. Despite these media antics, Senator Monday of Pueblo remains focused on directly engaging with the people of Edo State and advancing his vision and policies for the future. I don't understand. Edo State people, I know they carry last, make a national vote nonsense. I don't talk them. The worst thing that can happen to you eh, as a, an electorate of any state is for your state where you they reside in or your state where you did then they do elections you get opportunity you know at least at the federal level or at the national level person where they foresee to show everybody shaggy you can't get the opportunity to pick person where they say you know we show you shaggy you know do them <laughs> hey, hey you get opportunity to pick person where no go show we go give them a good governance we we'll be say go point now. This head we we'll be say the hot way to the on light fire on. The head, the person go cool and down. You know, pick up my sister. It's going to be like we go pay you enter blood. Mm -hmm. Please, my little brothers and sisters, do not vote any man who runs away from interview. He is not depending on your vote. He is believing that Tunubu will rig him in. Even the Tunubu is OTP. Okay. Oh. You are just talking trash. Let him attend the interview so that he can reveal his plans and intentions for Edo State. What about interview on channels television, city news media? You either being clownish or a jester to ask him for $1 million to attend an interview. Then they play now. Make them pay $1 million. As who? As who now? No, because in talk go bring life. Or in talk go raise people from the dead. You hear this smell? Any candidates who avoid engaging the media should never be voted for. They are all Bala Blues. An example, a typical example, is the person who is sitting on Nigeria's presidential seat. Alpha, how they treat Nana? She be the give a better treatment. She yo. Senator Mando Pueblo should stop running from talking to people. A man who wants to be governor has consistently run away from any public engagement where he can speak to people. We are here in Edo State, and everyone knows Okwebelo is a dollar who used this money to get to the Senate. We don't want a puppet for a governor. Edo State deserves better. We cannot leave sound candidate like PDP Dr. Soe Godalo or Labour Party barrister Akwata. A former MBA chairman and NPPP Dr. Azeme Azena to go for Okwebelo. 
Edo people with different now, like I say, you go to pain on her. You go pain on her enter blood. Say, na miss person will be say, soon as suppose vote for. I just say, make a tell you na the truth. The fear of refi is a sign of failure. The all progressive Congress candidate do not have anything to say. That is why he is afraid to go. They are now asking refi to give them $1 million. I'll be a rise television. What do you want to do? The head is not correct. Rufai is a card carrying member of PDP. Since when? And even if he is, does that now mean that you will not run away? Go outside and tell the people what you want. Not like I'm even telling Edo people to even listen to this man. Because I want to believe by now you have picked your candidate. This is not the time where you are going to say, I want to listen to what they have first. Because everybody has said it before. Anybody can come up with things that are going to sound good to the ears. I will do this for you. I will do that for you. But show workings when the person enters. The person no go feed you waiting. The person no go feed show working. So make Edo people open their eyes well. Wash their eyes well. Clean. Make sure say they pick the right person. They no use by a speak person. Person will be saying, we'll come inside. Come do waiting. Come make everybody this soft for them. The same you guys, the same profile you guys accused was a current member of Labour Party. Tomorrow you guys will even claim he's an MPP. Make on not try to get shame. The man should face interview and stop running, my dear. This grammar is too much. They asked you to come for interview. Should that be a problem? If you're afraid. If you're afraid of because you do not have anything to say, then there is no problem. You have problem of facing the people. Like I say, other people. <laughs> yeah. Any states, not just other people. I heard that another state. I don't know if it's Ondo. I think it's Ondo. <laughs> Make and I make sure say and I make the right decision. It's not going to be funny. <laughs> hey, hey, what do you APC candidate come to say? For your information, my good people of Nigeria, it is shameless and heartless for anyone to come out and defend what is not defendable on social media. APC as a party have a big virus in this country, so we should stop fooling ourselves in this country. Please let the all progressive Congress and their candidate pack somewhere. Enough is enough. Now, I do people then go decide that one. I do state elections. And I think I'm on those state elections too. Someone without a manifesto and he refuses interview and debate, as was the case in the presidential election, will portend double wahala for Edo State. The party is killed at arm twisting the media and no one should be fooled. The pattern wants to repeat. They don't want a job interview, but they want the job. Must they circumvert every non norm? Edo people over to you. The knife and the yam, therefore in the hand, Edo people. All right, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for 